Now, in Coffee Group today, we are talking about communication. Now that kids have easy access to texting or messaging on smartphones and devices, conversation seems to be a dying art. Joining us today, family coach Jenny Hale and Ficino School principal Peter Crompton. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Hi, yeah. uh, Jenny, let's start with you. Uh, are kids losing the knack of simply having a good chat face to face? I think there's a tension now because there are those devices where you can go straight to them and lose the face-to-face, -face, the eye contact, the tone of voice, the, the greetings, hello, goodbye. Those things are under tension now, so we've got to keep them in place. Yeah, that is one thing I really <laughs> instill in my kids. I say you have to be able to have a conversation with yeah. an adult, okay? You've got to look them in the eye when you talk to them. Um, Peter, communication, is that something your school really focuses on? Yeah, definitely. I mean, one of the, one of the five most important things employers are looking for is communication mm. skills. Skills. And so we, we really value those, and I agree it's, it's a lost art in today's world. Yeah. And communication skills does not mean just texting someone, no. does it? <laughs> no. Uh, Jenny, do you think parents can do some things at home to help? Oh, there's lots parents can do. Yeah, I think that they insist on, you know, manners and they communicate. They have times in the day, whether it's travelling in the car, you know, you don't have to be on a device in the back of the car. You can actually talk, you can sing. Parents can read stories, they can have meals together where you talk about the best part of the day and the worst part of the day. There are ways that we can just keep it alive and keep it, mm. keep it happening. I mean, story, reading stories to your children, those sort of things, telling jokes. There's ways to um, integrate it into every day of your life. Because sometimes as a parent you can feel a little bit like a broken record, can't you? Saying, so you've got to be polite, say your pleases and thank you, look them yeah. in the eyes. It just seems to be an ongoing conversation that you have every day. Yeah, you just stick a flag on the ground and say we're going to do this as a family so that you're not sort of, um, yeah, losing your children because they'll isolate themselves if they have an opportunity to. So it is it is our job to keep keep them communicating mm. as well. Every time I say we're doing this as a family, my children all <laughs> roll their eyes, but they oh, do yeah. come and they they're do it as a family. family. You can live with that. So Peter, how does Ficino help develop these skills? Well, in a number of ways. Um, one of them is our P4C program, which is philosophy for children. And oh, wow. in, the, in, the, uh, in these exercises, the children learn to listen carefully to each other and to respond respectfully. And they're, and they're taught to think about questions mm. and to formulate answers and to justify their answers. So it, it becomes second nature for them to stand up in front of an audience and, and field questions and ask, ask and answer mm. questions. Because mm. quite often, even as adults, we are talking to people, but we're not mm. listening to what they have to say, are we? <laughs> quite. Yeah. And as children, yeah, even more so, because their little right. brains are all over the place and they're going on to the next yeah, thing. There's radio me going on inside. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> particularly in this day and age. Um, Jenny, so respect and confidence, that mm. seems to go hand in hand with good communication skills. It is, and we all want to be heard, and I think we have to have platforms where we are listened to. So when children talk to us about stuff, you know, we need to be careful that we don't override them or are so distracted that we're not listening. But when a child feels listened to and heard, they're more likely to keep communicating. Mm. So we model that. So if we're cooking dinner and they're talking to us, should we stop and look at them when we, when we talk to them? Yeah, if it's appropriate, mm. you know, um, and you've got the, the time, I think we should model it. Of course we can say, I'd, I'm really interested in that. Let me come back to you on that. We, we can set boundaries around. But if we are always saying, oh, look, I'm busy, yeah. wait a minute, uh, sort of showing that we're not available, then we can shut communication down. Mm, and we do not want that. Uh, Peter, what else does Ficino School do to develop those communication skills? Well, all our students learn drama. And so learning lines and performing plays together just teaches them to collaborate, to communicate, and to really connect with an audience. And so um, our students perform three or four plays through their time at Ficino and by year seven and eight um, they form a whole Shakespeare play um, wow. with uh, everybody involved in it. So. Shakespeare, that yeah. seems quite a heavy topic for, for younger kids. Yeah, well listen, we, we underestimate um, what children can do and often um, as adults we put a glass ceiling in and we think this is, they're, they're limited to this, but um, children relish the opportunity to push through that and to, to um, reach higher challenges mm. and Shakespeare really does that. Um, and the Shakespearean language actually formed much of our modern English and so giving children that vocabulary really, really increases their and enriches their own vocabulary that they can take with them. Mm -hmm. And the parents um, and teachers, we just find that the emotional maturity that takes place with these plays is, is quite incredible. Wow, yeah. sounds great. Yeah. I'm actually going to go and see my child at his school play tonight. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> so forward to it. Well, thank you both very much for joining us today. That's been really interesting. Mm -hmm. And Auckland's Ficino School has The Tempest on from tonight. You can buy tickets or you can find out more about the school at Ficino. Chino.school.nz